It's the perfect go-along with your coffee or a standalone dessert. It's Pumpkin Cafe Muffins. Now on Cooking with Kooks. desserts around here. You are hideous, madam. Who does your makeup? Leonardo da Vinci, you idiot. And it's not makeup, it's preservatives. <laughs> Seeing you walk down the street is an effective appetite suppressant. Your approach is diet-inducing. Yahoo! You have single-handedly turned da Vinci into an artistic Philistine. That's Philip Steen, my hairdresser. Are you going to insult him? First, I want you to tell me if a pumpkin is a gourd or a squash. Why don't you hold still while I bash your gourd like head with my squash racket? <laughs> pumpkin cafe muffins make a great dessert any time. These muffins combine ingredients you may not expect. Vanilla pudding mix is used for texture and moistness, added to the white cake mix that is known for its versatility. Brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice join ginger and poppy seeds to give these pumpkin puree muffins a unique glow of sweetness. First, I will make the ginger juice. Peel some ginger root and soak in water in the refrigerator overnight. Take the saturated root and microplane to produce pulp. Is then squeezed through cheesecloth to make ginger juice. Next comes the frosting. Take a bowl and add eight ounces of soft cream cheese and one stick of softened butter. Add one cup of confection sugar and three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree. this frosting. Now for the batter. In a large bowl, pour in the white cake mix, brown sugar, vanilla pudding mix, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and salt. Mix together by hand. Then add the can of pumpkin puree. Next comes two eggs. A softened stick of butter. Add the oil and ginger juice, then mix with a beater, or is that beat with a mixer? Once mixed, add the poppy seeds. These muffins will be baked in a 12 ounce souffle cup. Use butter or shortening to coat the cup and sprinkle flour on top of that. I am using a one gallon Ziploc bag filled with the pumpkin batter to fill the cup. Cut a corner to dispense. You should get four or five portions. And tap that batter down. Bake in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Your time might vary. Once baked, take a pastry bag Use it to top the muffin with frosting.
sprinkle on the poppy seeds. And here is the finished product. You know, I'm going to squash this against my face right now if you don't mind. Cooking with Kooks is a production of Culinary Characters of America.